Hey guys, it's your boy Tofu here, and I'm about to go skip it on through to get the rest of this information. So we can't let his sacrifice go to waste. So in order for us to collect the correct keys, we just have to do everything in the right order and hopefully right. collect a new dialogue that will allow us to see said like you even mean that. Okay. Yeah, so basically we change the dialogue, get the correct stuff, we will receive all the keys for a certain path, and then once that's completed, we will be able to go down the alternative pathway that's there. Um I'll skip. Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. Okay, so I can talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, so what I'm doing is just rushing through and just accepting the dialogue for the stuff we need to do in order to receive certain keys. So eight, we skip through that. And uh, we're currently doing the red path. Um, it's kind of the easiest way to handle it. And once we're done with the red keys, then we can move on to the white keys. Hopefully, I don't have to do these. Uh, as I was told in the comments, thank you so much. That So I won't have to do puzzles. It's just skip the dialogue, collect the keys, keep going. I need to receive the keys here. Maybe I can skip after and receive the dialogue. Let's try. I don't want to do it if I don't have to. Thank God we got out. Yeah. Finally. Let me start the all skip. Okay. Um... We'll go through this. Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Did I get them? No, I didn't. So I have to go in here. I'm missing keys. So I'm gonna... Oh. I can choose where I go? Hey, Junpei. Do you have a Whoa, minute? Whoa, wait a minute. What's up? Wait a minute. I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Okay, yeah, we can start all skips. Okay, so we also get to choose where in said uh, puzzles we want to jump in. Do I just skip to the end of said puzzle? Collect the keys. Oh, shit! So that is how you do it. So there's the computer, which is the obvious other one. We skip through that, and we'll oh, collect both worked. keys. See, that's okay. That's actually cool. So this makes it worthwhile to be able to talk to you guys while I do this, because there'll be new dialogues coming up, but still... Okay, yep, it's the hacking again. So we got one key. We have to collect the next key and then we can go to the next area Which isn't too hard, especially if it's like this we could easily do this in like one episode I don't know where how long the next part will take, but it's probably just a big reveal about who's in the casket um, I don't think we'll have a password to solve it though, which is a bigger conundrum that I have Hmm. Oh, it's this puzzle again. I remember that Oh, can she not do- oh yeah, she can't do anything. We have to solve it. Okay, so we got both keys. Bingo, bongo. Let's scroll down to our next one. Um, so what I'll do, since it's just like that, and all I have to do is actually just access, skip through, get the key, keep going, I will transition until I am down here. So I'll see you guys in a bit. You know, speaking of experiments, there was this experiment some scientists did with rats. Okay, yeah, this is something I don't recall at all. I don't know how the fuck I get to this dialogue part, but... First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. What? Okay. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. One looks like a lie. Uh... I, I honestly think the other side is a lie, because it's a B. A, a looks like there's no ladder out. Exit A is pitch black. So dark, even a rat can't see anything. Okay. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. Oh, fuck. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Well... Uh, if it doesn't trust going down A, it would go up B regardless of its death. Which exit would the rat choose? Uh, I mean, honestly, Santa? A. Every single time. They'd rather take the unknown than the, the known. B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Oh shit. Totally different opinion here. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Until one dies. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Yeah. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, 
after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. So what you're saying is that it tries the first exit, and then when it learns it doesn't work, it goes the other way eventually. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. Yeah, Ace, I agree, but still, it kind of shows what we're going through now. Um, I guess in a way. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? Oh, wait. We're missing half of this? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. What, through generations they just eventually learned to not go the same way? With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Okay. So it does get- you're trying to say it gets like, passed hereditarily? The knowledge to not go near ladders? Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. Really? Oh, so this is like another idea of like telepathy and the mass uh, idea that's been kind of been pushed throughout this, where um, when one truth is found, it's kind of spread throughout the world as a norm. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. That is odd. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they were just solving the they puzzle. They all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. Huh. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? Yeah, it's it's kind of the common thread that's been pushed around so far in this game. I mean, if you take into consideration the painting in the two cabins, that's a, that's another form of telepathy. That was a theory that uh, Lotus brought up. This one by Santa um, of telepathy. Crap. There's like other one. I feel like there's another example in here somewhere, but I do they feel like it's a constant thing. They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium. Yeah, sort of. They kind of were just. Uh, it might have been like passing their experience on, kind of like how that painting. Once it was known to the world what it really was, or the photo, known what it really was, it was almost instantly faster to get the same answer than before. <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. I mean, that's fair, Santa. I didn't really suspect you were a scientist, but nevertheless, you brought up an interesting concept. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. Yeah, I agree. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. <laughs> Fair point. Hey, Fair wait. There's point. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. No, because you'd kind of hurry their instincts to just go... F and like, I guess, I don't know, I feel like adding the water makes, um, like, it cause panic. Causing panic then incites them to just go with their base instinct to do one thing, and then it takes longer for them to realize that it's really the other way. They could have just used a dry box, you know? I don't know, I don't think the panic would have set in. If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have, I don't know, put some bait by exit B or, or something. But that's coaxing them into a direction, not having them figure it out through trial and error. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? Okay, fair point, I guess, but still, the the, the test was to see when, in a, a panicked state, what, what happens, typically. You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Yeah, now I do, but... I didn't, like, it's, it's a very interesting idea. Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, 
or appear or rise out of something else. Okay. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Oh, the inspiration to do the right, like the, the specific thing to quell the situation. Like, it's an emergency. We need to get to the hospital. Well, call the ambulance or I'll drive. Things would happen. Okay. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. Exactly. So what you're you're really connecting to why June's passed out, but the rest of us are like doing stuff. I mean, if you look at it, it's 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 basically the test that's being conducted to the rats, but in a more volatile state where I mean the rats can drown, and this you guys can all die. I mean it's kind of the fair assessment, I guess. I mean the stakes are a little bit different drastically. And they involve way more than a simple hallway, but still, the base concepts, I think, are still there. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Hmm. Oh. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers, then you pop the correspond. So for instance, the yep. card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes in. Oh. Huh? What? Hey! What the fuck happened? June! Are you okay? Fuck, and this girl passes out all the time. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. Wait, that's what's different? She passes out on us? Yeah, because that didn't happen last time. You finished the box thing, alright? Uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you. Are you alright? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. A box? What? So, wait. She would have never have tripped over this box if we didn't... Just let me see for a sec. I just can't believe she never would have tripped over this box if we never did the other parts of this. So any changes, significant or not, changes the outcome, or is it that we're supposed to go through this twice to get both sides? Hmm. Huh. You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? But... <sighs> okay, no, you know, let's figure out what she fell on. It's also crazy to think that if Junpei didn't do it, this is what occurs? Still, to fall down like that? Yeah, it's probably a bad fall. Poor girl's still fucking tripping out because of her sickness. I think she's probably still a little messed up. Alright, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Oh, I don't think it's anything that serious. <laughs> don't joke with us. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? What do you mean? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Wait, who? Ace? Why? Is he a pharmac- is he a pharmacist? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Oh, what the fuck? Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. What? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, so he's the- Okay, so so right now we have tied three people together. We tie Lotus to uh, Seven via the detective finding her daughters. And we tie both of them to Cradle Pharmaceuticals, which ties us to Ace. Uh, June and Junpei don't tie to that unless they were almost taken for the experiment or they don't remember being taken into the experiment themselves. Possible. I don't know how Santa 
coincides with this. And I don't know how Clover or um, Snake coincide with this. Or how the Ninth Man relates to this. Or Captain Zero relates into this. But so far we have three connections to the story. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Anesthetic? Wait. Like, the thing that made us all knock out and get put on the ship in the first place? See, see, wait. Is Ace Zero? Or is Zero somebody else using Ace's products? Soparil. Soparil. I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. Yeah, that's how we got Pat knocked out. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. Oh my fucking god. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. This is... Wait, he who's carrying that? It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. Is Ace just holding this at all times? It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different routes. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. Huh, okay. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. But why would he tell you that? From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? Well, it's connecting to other thoughts. I don't think we even met uh, or heard Seven's... No, nothing. Uh, hmm. Wait, he can't figure it out? What the hell is he doing? Wait, what? June, don't push yourself, alright? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. Yeah, why can't he figure it what out? What are you doing? Does he not remember everyone's numbers? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. Wait, Ace is blind? What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. Why? I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. Why? See, this is not like he's raising so many questions. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing that this guy couldn't figure it out. If he's getting pressed to... Hmm. Okay. Ugh. That's weird. I'm simply looking at cards that have tired him out. Yeah, something else is going on. Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Yeah, he saw something he didn't want to admit. And now I remember where the anesthetic came up. It was when he injected himself in the med lab. He gave it a shot of it to himself so he could pass out and then wake up if everyone was there or not. Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. But what causes it? In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe... Maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. 
But why would that tire him out? Is he tired saying he's tired so he doesn't have to do it and not admit that he's dealing with this? Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh well. But then how is he differentiating us normally apart? By voice? Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Sure, I'll solve it. Ace's card is in box one, Snake's is in number two. Oh, I'll just solve it normally? I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Yeah! Oh, they opened! Oh shit, that's three keys. What the? Nine oh, those are the pins. pins. Okay. I guess I'll take them with me. Yeah. All right, and that's that puzzle. So we found a key card. So we got all the keys we'll require. And we've unlocked the final path. So, all right, guys, let's start down this mysterious road and see what's in store for us here. Leave no one behind. So we should be going to the nine room door, I think. But, uh, all right. So, so far, this has been kind of interesting to see these things going down. So we kind of saw some developments. Look, it's... We now know three people connected. Seven and Lotus. What, are they dead already? We've got a problem. Oh, this is when Clover disappears. Clover is gone. Shit. What? What do you mean, gone? She disappears, man. She's on a murder rampage now. They went to the captain's room, I think. And as a result, she gets all the weapons and starts realizing it's time to kill people. When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. See, that's super odd. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. Fourth room? She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. What's the fourth room? There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured and, that much out. Yeah, now we met you guys, and now Clover's out and about, about to murder all of us. Okay. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Well, then I suppose we should all stay together. Very well, then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. No! We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Why would we have the time to separate? Yeah. This is not fucking... Ah, Scooby-Doo, man. We can't just separate and think that's the right plan. Everybody dies when you separate. She's not here. No, she isn't. All right. Just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? With her dead brother? That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's Ho go. Holy shit, why isn't that why wasn't that a logical thought when we first Wow. Yeah, like you know, we were searching, you could church everywhere, but since we didn't have this unlocked, we couldn't go in there. I didn't Good. we can still get in. I didn't even think about that. Like she'd go to her dead brother's body. We should thank Seven later. If he's alive. But I mean No luck. Mm, okay. Yeah. I don't think she's here. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, oh, she's not here. <sighs> Snake. Just where did your sister go? <sighs> she's probably Ooh. I, I think she has the axe from the captain's quarters now, and probably a knife. And she's collecting uh, wristbands right now. Uh, oh, man. Such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arm's hideously twisted. Huh? Wait, 
What, he had something on him? Bones. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. Wait, what? The accident hurt him really bad. Don't tell me he has a fake arm and that we see bones means that's not his body. And in reality, two is somewhere around here somewhere. Of course. Of course. Is two in the casket downstairs? Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Then whose body is that? Oh, I hope to God she doesn't stab us. Junpei! June! Where were you guys? Did did something happen? Clover is Clover is dead. What? Why is she dead? Wait, is this where the one where she dies? I found her in the first class bathroom. Fuck. All right, at least nobody else is dead. But fuck. <gasps> oh! Clover. Clover. Why? Why did this happen? <sighs> Wait, did she like, kill herself? Clover. No way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Fuck. Yes, I I think so. This is so. Di I'm sorry. I'm cursing. It's just like this is a lot of stuff happening right now. So the realization's happening now. Clover's dead. Ooh, Snake's alive in a well. Maybe Snake was murdering everybody before, and it wasn't Clover. Well, no, Clover went freaking crazy. But I mean, in, in that one particular ending, she went crazy. But right now, it seems like Snake is the one that's killing someone. Unless she killed herself. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. All right. Why did you come to this room? Well, he put a block in it, if I remember. To look for Clover, why else? Oh, wait, yeah, why would you think to come here? I found her body in the bathroom. As Soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys, I found her, but it's bad. She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin. Come quick. Or something like that. Then I went back to the bathroom. A Santa and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I... I mean, you know the rest, right? Yeah, but what's not to say that you didn't kill her in there? I mean, I know you're a cop, so it makes no sense, but I don't know. Seven. Tensions are high right now. There's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh. You think I did it? Well, why would you want to unlock this door in the first place? Well, I don't know. Well, actually, no. I guess, to be fair, let's not just completely throw caution to the wind here. When you first did it, you made it so that we wouldn't be fu Like, we had a room to go back to, but we wouldn't have been able to get back to the main hall, let's say, if this didn't connect back in the first place. But it happened to, so... I guess I can throw that out the window. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <laughs> Follow me. A closet? Oh, fuck, the safe we never opened. Yeah. 
This is the reason. This safe. We never did open it. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door 5 again. So, I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? You know what? Hey man, that's a fair, fair argument. And, uh, yes, I get it. Yeah. Now, how do we solve it? Do we have the right combinations to solve it? Huh? This is... Rust. Wait. What? So, we could break it? If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? Uh. Uh. Huh? <sighs> Everybody feels the same, at least. But... Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door, the ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah. Well, the splatter is oh, the still this, there. The smell is. Oh, he had to throw up. I didn't need that, man. Wait, it's it's gone. His bracelet, it's gone. Who took his blade? Oh god, who took it? It was right next to the glasses. But who could have come back in here? Clover? I mean, she was the one person I thought of who, who, who showed that she was taking them. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... I guess I'll go back. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. All right, I guess. What'd you want me to see? What is it? Clover. <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. And? A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back, probably by a knife or something. That's the same thing that killed me, like twice. And I found this. What? A note? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Gosh, man, that's dark. Truth, truth had, had gone, gone truth, truth had, had gone, gone, and truth had gone. And now truth is asleep in the darkness of a sinister hand. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister hand. I mean, are you referring to cards? Oh, okay. Well, this is an interesting decision. In my head, the sinister hand is the left hand. If we're going by religion, they hated the damn thing. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. What? Really? The left hand. Hmm. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Well, what was the hand that you grabbed the note from? Her right? Check the left. Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Truth gone. Hmm. Truth gone. Maybe those two words. Wait, uh... Wow, we've entered a lot of interesting situations here. How about reading it out loud? Uh, what about switching the sentence around? 
Gone Truth. Gone had truth. <sighs> well, that makes even less sense. Clearly, switching the words isn't going to help. All right, Junpei, I tried, okay? Time for a different idea. What else could gone and truth mean? What else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct. Something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. Okay, so right, truth, left, gone. After all, after someone left, they were gone. Okay. But in this case, they clearly refer to their to directional le homonyms. Yeah, they're going by right hand, had left hand. Right hand, then left. Right, and then left. And now right is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. So are you saying that the 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 safe is controlled by right left right left right left right or is that the buttons left and right of the bracelet these two things sticking out so if i press them in the following order oh shit so it says truth had gone truth had gone truth had gone ah truth so if I'm remembering that right, it would be right, left, right, left. Uh, my, my thing is I think it has to end on a right, right? So truth would be on a right. So it would be right, left, right, left, right. Right? It's right, left, right, left, right, left. I think that's it. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, did it just... Did it just change my number? You can change your fucking number? No, it's just... One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. That's the key for the, the thing down below, I think. Let me write that down you know because for the sake of arguments watch junpei d to remember some bs like that and i'd be fucked so one four three eight three four two one all right so it was a passcode all along huh? hey what are those numbers uh passcode of sorts hmm one four three eight three four two one Huh. One four three eight three four two one. But is that to the safe up here or downstairs? One four three eight three four two one. Where one, are you four, three, going? Eight, three, four, saying two, this one. number, man. One four three eight three four two one. Oh wait, are you talking about fourteen thirty eight thirty four twenty one? Would that be possible on a dial? Huh. One. To the right. Oh, four to the left. Four to the left. Wow, that is a very interesting way to give a dial combination. And. Oh. Oh, Bingo. shit. I knew it was for this. That's so cool. Oh, oh. is this some sort of note? What? What's this? Let's see. Fact one. The notary game was played once before, nine years ago. Fact two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. Wait, what? Fact three. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Ace. Gentaro Hongo. So that's his name, Gentaro. Cradle Pharmaceuticals Chief of Staff, Nagisa Nijisaki, Cradle Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor, Teruaki Kubo Kubota, and Majority Shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Kagechika Masashido, uh, Musashido. God, I'm sorry for their pronunciations. I'm trying my best, but okay, I must punish them. 
for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. So that's why we're all here? Because we're all in related huh. relation to that situation? I mean, that means four of us are a part of this situation. Or at least a part of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. I don't know who is who. Uh, we obviously know Ace is one. We know that um, Lotus is connected via her kids being stolen away. We know that Seven is connected because he's the cop who stumbled upon it and escaped with the kids. Uh, we know that Snake now is a survivor of the last known games, which means others. If you want to be a grand scheme of timelines and shit, it would mean that there's three nonary games and one uh i tried i fucking tried um so it's a decision based game for the third one but it means that there's three nonaries in existence and then a decision based game not sure what that entails but it's what happened it's i, I know it had a name and i'm sure somebody out there knows it i just i'm drawing a blank i literally just spent some time looking for it and i can't remember it for shit so if you guys remember, please, please let me know. I'd love to broaden my vocabulary with something that I definitely remember hearing before. But anyways, now that we have everybody here, we should probably go downstairs to the main casket and solve that. Come with you? Yeah, you guys all gotta come with me downstairs. I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. Oh shit, what do you want to be sure of? What? What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying... Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. Shit, Junpei, are you Sherlock Holmes in it right now? I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. Wait, were the kids the last notary fucking game? That would explain why... No, it's because number two was the real person who found the, the watch. Uh, who, who survived it. Snake knew what was going on. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Which would explain why he was murdered. But who else helped him get murdered? Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. What are you testing? Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. But Seven does want to know. Unless he was lying you, to us about Ace? what he was. Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Wait, does he not know my full... Hmm. Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. 
Actually, I'm Santa. Wh what? Oh, fuck, because if he's having a syndrome where he doesn't know faces... Wait, what? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. He's fucking with him to see if he's right. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals nineteen. Yeah. One plus nine would be ten. The digital route would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? <gasps> oh, wait, yeah, I never got to make a nickname for myself. I was just called Jumpy. You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course, I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. To, to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Oh, shit. But how would you know that your only justification that I wasn't Santa was because the door didn't open? The only way you would know that is if you put that bracelet number on his wrist and knew why. Or like, Because you're not looking at my face while you say it. You're going off of numbers. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. I would say your hair, but okay. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <sighs> Okay, I mean, that's true, I guess. Ace, you have prosopagnosia, am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... <sighs> Very well, I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me for my disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. Wait, why? What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. Holy shit. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I have three pieces of evidence. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. And then knocked yourself out. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. Huh. Then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door 7 and 8. So he limited us from going through door one, 3. There was no way we could get through door 3, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but... Please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? You already knew, didn't you? That snake was dead? I mean, the, holy shit, the landmines were unveiling here, if this is true.
You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? I mean, true, but it could... I mean, why else would you take yourself out of the equation? Wouldn't you want to live? Really? Yes, yes! <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? No, but you wouldn't know. Actually, you know what? Let's let's let Junpei do it because I'm curious to see what his analysis is. Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It isn't no. It isn't snake. The the arms are broken. It's not snakes. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. It's not Snake. Snake has a fake arm. I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X. Oh shit, so wait, would that be in this timeline the captain? No. No. It has to be other people. So he killed someone else, but then said it was Snake? Then where the fuck's snake in all this? Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been snake. Oh god. No. That's impossible. Why is it impossible? Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't snake. Even if the clothes were the same as snakes, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. Okay. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. I guess so, because the only hint you had as to why somebody was, um... The, the thing is, he, if he opened that vault, the, 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 the safe, right? Then it's safe to say that the only reason why he intentionally hunted down two would be because Snake, would, or the holder of number two, is the... the what's it called? He, he'd be the only person who knew who really did the non game the first time, it would be obviously hunting down Ace throughout this. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Yes, if he knew you were the CEO of pharmaceutical of, uh, of the pharmaceutical company. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. Yep. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. But you wouldn't set this all up just to do that, would you? So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> Two. Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that, or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you, so you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? That he's the CEO of the pharmaceutical company that ran off the first donary game before this one. Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Dang, man, this is intense. Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The nonary game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. What is this? It's the criminal evidence that would show motive for Ace. It's the message from Zero. 
It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Is it? Someone is trying to frame me! Me. You said me, right? Oh shit, so you admit you're the CEO of the pharmaceuticals. <gasps> Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongul, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? And that you ran that test? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Yes, you do. It was even taking place on this ship. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? No. No, 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 because if you connect that to Seven Story, it First adds all, up. First of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Yes, you could have if you took number nine's bracelet. Which is probably what you show Lotus around the corner. Uh, 9, 8, and 1 would put you at... What? 9, 8 puts you at a nice... Well, no, because if you take... Yeah, 9 and 8 makes you 17. And then you add a 1, and that's 9. You can leave out the 9 door with just the two of you. Actually, that adds up even more. Holy shit, I didn't even put that together. It took uh, us finding that bracelet disappearing. That makes so much sense. So he dips with Lotus and escapes leaving me to die by Clover. Nope, you could have. <gasps> huh? Huh? What? what? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No! You couldn't have! I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. Holy shit, he put it in his fucking right hand. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? Oh my god. <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> this whole thing is unraveling so fast. If you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Zero Escape, Nine Hours, Nine Doors, and Nine Persons. And uh, I hope to see you in the next episode of whatever I make. And as always, it's your boy Tofuru, signing out.